Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining. This is now my 11th month lot. I'm super excited because that means that I'm basically closer to my one year anniversary. And it's just amazing to me how much has happened between last year and this year. And I've come a long way. <laughs> I've definitely embraced this journey a lot more than I thought I would have. Um, but I have no regrets. I'm super happy and all I can do is be even more excited to see what happens after the year. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys what my hair is looking like. So I just threw it up in this little side swoop because I was trying to figure out how to wear my hair this weekend and I was just basically testing it out and I just left it. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't feel like there's much to really show you guys that has changed, but I'll show you anyway, and you can be the judge of that. Maybe I can't really tell because I see my hair every day. Um, I will say that my regimen has remained the same, and it's still working for me, so I'm happy about that. I'm hoping that it continues to work for me throughout this cold season that's on its way because you know skin gets a little funny around the winter time <laughs> so we'll see how it goes and of course I'll keep you guys posted so I did want to just touch base really quickly because last month I said that I would probably try out two different styles like a twist out or braid out or use my sponge rollers the pink sponge rollers well I tried to do a braid out and so I braided like three locks together and then I just wrapped the end in the pink rollers and I left that in for a few hours like I spritzed it a little bit in the beginning and then I braided it and put them in the rollers and when I took it out it really wasn't pretty like it looked like some of my locks wanted to curl some wanted to do a little wave and most of them just looked very confused. So I took that as a sign that maybe it's just too early. Also, I would say that like the thick bubbles and bunching that I have like this was very difficult to try to get to do anything. I mean, it's just like there. So that really didn't work out too well for me, but hey. You live and you learn. And just because it didn't work this time doesn't mean that it won't work six months from now. So I think I just need to let my locks mature a bit more and then I can try to experiment with styling. If I'm trying to like curl it or make it look crinkly or something, I think I, I really would have to just wait for all of this bunching to be completely locked, basically. So, Let's get into this update. I'll show you guys what my hair looks like up close and you be the judge as far as what changes you see. Stay tuned.
So as you all can see, there's really not much of a difference between last month's update and this month, but I really didn't want to skip a month being the fact that I'm so close to that one year mark. And I already have an idea of how I really want to show and present my locks journey from month one to month 12. So definitely stay tuned for that. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of my next upcoming video. And I thank you all for watching and I definitely thank you for all of your support and the love that you share. I truly do feel it through the internet. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so I thank you all once again and I hope you have a great day. Bye.